that my fellow artist it is officially 2023 so it's time for a new meet the artist for this year so today's video is a q a um which i did not do last year but i did a q a in another video with a collab so i think now that i've got more subscribers um it would be easier for me to do an updated one so i'm gonna get right into those questions first question is artist pet peeves i only have two which are art block and jealousy such as being jealous of other artists that definitely have more experience than you and you don't really realize it and it's a bad habit and um, most artists go through that even not artists go through that so we just gotta fight through it next questions are why did you start out what do you edit on and some tips for starting off youtube so i started art because it's kind of been a hobby for like my whole life and it's been a part of my life like the whole time i've been on this earth and then i edit on cap cut and a tip for small artists i actually got like many questions on this um i would probably say like don't give up and like just keep going because I remember when I first started and my art looked really bad, but I didn't give up and look where I am now. Next question is favorite artist YouTubers and five of them. So I would probably say Citrus Gem, um, Minty Sketchbook, um, Naraya Creates, Sage's Sketchbook, and Fairy Kind Arts. Those are like on the smaller side. Well, I mean, I wouldn't consider Minty a small YouTuber anymore because um, she's like grown a lot since um i started youtube but she's been a big inspiration for me this whole time and i kind of got inspired for the hair from her so okay next questions are favorite small youtubers biggest supporter plans and hate comments so i would probably say like um my biggest supporter would be my mom because she really supports me and then plans for my channel um nothing much i want to give my channel a makeover but yeah, I don't think that's happening any sooner because digital art isn't my thing at all. So I can't really create like a profile picture. And then how do I deal with hate comments? Well, hate comments, um, they actually like help your channel. Like I got hate on this short once and um, I deleted all the hate, right? But people came back and commented again, which gave me more watch hours. Like I got like, mm, I don't know, like probably like um 15 watch hours on a shorts video just because people came back and like started fights in the comments so yeah and it's kind of entertainment because it's just funny how like people are like hating when there's legit no point and i just sit there and like read the hate comments and kind of just laugh at them like i would just say if you get offended by them you can just delete them and forget about them but um just remember that if you have a hate comment and you have a community tab or like you can post a video about it legit just post a video about it and <laughs> first of all that was that will embarrass the person that said that second of all our art community is so powerful i swear i got a hate comment on one of my videos once and like the whole art community just like started like defending me it was crazy the next questions are um youtube goal for 2023 basic art supplies to start youtube and if i plan to do more art contests so my youtube goal for 2023 is posting consistently keeping a posting schedule which i'm already failing at because um school and just lost motivation because like and like the thing that demotivates me the most is stress on like my storage which is the dumbest thing to stress about because legit like that's well who stresses about storage only me right and then um basic art supplies to start youtube i would say like anything like you don't need any like expensive art supplies to start youtube i definitely started youtube with like a set of a hoo hoo and like um these liners that i'm using right now but you can use anything I know a creator that's been using Crayolas and she's like at 1,000 subscribers right now. So you legit don't really need anything except like a pencil or like a pen and a sketchbook or like just paper. So yeah. And then um, if I plan to do more art contests, um, probably, but I want to make them more creative and not just like OCs because that's kind of what's been going around all the time. Just OCs, OCs. And all. Like I know people are kind of tired of drawing OCs because now instead of drawing your OCs you're drawing other people's OCs and it's just like 
yeah um so yeah probably i'll think next questions are my favorite aesthetic uh, an art medium i want to get better at then my favorite animal and my biggest inspiration okay so my favorite aesthetic i don't really like have a favorite aesthetic if it's like clothing wise i just like go for like i don't know just like pastel colors and like simple beige and pinks and like that stuff and then um art medium to get better at definitely paint favorite animal i don't really have one i would say cats though they're really nice and then my biggest inspiration is rin drawing with waffles and she actually noticed me which legitimately made me almost scream at the top of my lungs but it was school so i could not do that because i would probably get suspended for screaming that loud but um i was really happy and yeah she's my biggest inspiration okay the next question is interesting so it's a question that asks something that i love slash hate that i've never told anybody okay this one might seem weird but legitimately when somebody tells me to teach them how to draw like legit i have my own style and i don't want to teach you how i draw in my style because i never want to give off my secrets because i was starting at stickman and then i improved up to this and then they are just asking me to straight up like teach them how to draw how i draw and just like ditch the fact that i've been drawing for like many many years so yeah that's like a thing i really really hate last but not least and the only question i got asked on my instagram was what do you like to draw the most and i would definitely say people because it's kind of like the thing i like to draw um um yeah that that was my brother yeah. anyways um ah. oh <laughs> say, say something to my subscribers ah. okay yeah that's that's a quote from my bro brother oh my gosh this like cap cut voiceover thingy always cuts off my voiceovers anyways so yeah i did what's in my bag money phone tangle charger lip gloss student id portable hairbrush pen uh gum tissues and mints Likes are pasta, my cat, Leo, YouTube, hates, flies, arguments, spicy foods, waiting, art block. And then I did a Ukrainian flag, Canadian flag, my sign, my nickname, um, and then the name I kind of use other than at home. So yeah, um, now I'm going to compare it to my old one, which I think I improved so much. And I'm so happy I made this video and it's been a year because I can finally add something to like my playlist of Meet the Artists so you guys can see my improvement. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm really excited for this. But this is my old one. I'm not a big fan of it. It's just here and there. It's not really me. And the colors are just like, eh, really rushed. And yeah. And then um, this is my new one. Don't mind the smoothie on the side. And then, yeah, I think I improved a lot, and it represents me more than last year. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye-bye. And over here, I'll show the people that guessed what this video was for. Bye.